Guys, I'm gonna give you a message today. This is something you could apply inside the gym, outside of the gym. And I actually want you to go and take this information and actually go apply it. This isn't fucking complicated shit. This is shit anybody you know, could figure out. This is shit we all know, but sometimes we just gotta be reminded of it. And that is turn your weaknesses into strengths. So to give you an idea of where I'm coming from, the easiest example I can give you is with my lower back. So you guys know that I've been struggling with lower back pain over the last five years. And once you have pain in one area, it radiates to all sorts of other areas. So for years, I was literally waking up, middle of the night, tossing and turning, pain uh, in the neck, pain in the shoulders, pain in the lower back, pain going down the leg. You know, I had been through multiple bouts of physical therapy the last one being eight months, and I walked out feeling no better than I had walked in feeling, okay? I was doing shit on my own, I was cutting back on my workouts, and it was really fucking getting to me. Really fucking getting to me, because it, 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 it brought my physique down, because I wasn't really able to exert myself like that in the gym without then feeling like shit the next day, and not being able to sit straight for 15 minutes, not being able to sleep the next night. So you could imagine how that fucking felt for somebody who came up, you know, I came up real skinny and it really took me a lot to put on that first layer of muscle. And it really did a lot for my self-confidence, my self-esteem. And part of my identity became shaped around the fact that I made that transformation. So having that stripped from me was very humbling, very ego crushing. And it fucked me up for a long time. And that's not to say it's completely better today. But what happened was when I quit my job about a year ago, my lower back pain was probably damn near at the worst it's ever been. And it was really fucking bringing me down mentally and physically. And at that point, I decided to go into personal training and I said, I'm going to give this one last fucking shot and I'm going to give it everything I got. I'm going to make this work no matter what the fuck it takes. If I got to stretch three times a day, that's what the fuck I'm going to do. And that's exactly what the fuck I did. And I went in, I did the ATG stuff. I did the ATG split squats. I did, a, you know, hundreds of reps of hyper extensions. I'm doing hip flexor stretching. Uh, you know, I'm doing seated good mornings, all shit just to loosen up the, the hips, strengthen the lower back. And it, it ended up helping, okay? It took several months of being really consistent and persistent with those exercises and not fucking with anything else that was gonna fuck up my lower back or even give it the smallest amount of tweak. I said, I don't, I don't want that shit. I'm gonna put my full fucking focus into this right now. And what I was able to do was, now my lower back pain is not gone, but it's far more manageable than before. And that's because I built such a strong core, such a strong lower back. If you, I try to put some videos on the screen, but if you guys have been following my Instagram or following this page even, you could see I got the fucking Christmas tree striated spinal erectors. And this is not to brag, it's just, just, it's just to show you that basically I took something that was a weakness and I turned it into a strength. My lower back used to give me so many fucking issues. So I said, I'm gonna address this issue head on and I'm gonna work my lower back as much as possible. And I'm gonna work my core as much as possible. And now look at where I'm at. I got a fucking, you know, titanic lower back, a titanium lower back. And that has fucking significantly helped my lower back pain, significantly improved it and allowed me to do a lot more movements safely. So basically, I turned something that was a weakness into a strength, literally, okay? And now part of my marketing message for my online coaching business is that I've been through that shit. So now I can relate to other people who have been through that shit and I can help guide them through that. If I didn't have this fucking experience and I didn't push my way through it and push past it, then I would have never been able to market myself like this. Now I'm using my lower back pain as an advantage. 
Now I'm using it because now I can relate more to other people and, and help them through their issues. I turned a weakness into a strength, literally in the gym, and then I applied it to my business as well. Same thing with the, the financial situation that I was going through a year ago when I was extremely broke, okay? I used that lack of money to grind the fuck harder and push past the point where I even needed to. I didn't have to work 60 hours for as long as I did. I probably only needed to do it for like three months to really get me back to normal, but I did it for almost a year. I worked way harder than I needed to for a whole year because I never wanted to be in that position again. And what that allowed me to do was set myself up to have some money saved up so I could leave the gym and go all out on my online coaching business. All that anxiety I was going through at the time, I used that to my advantage. The financial anxiety, anxiety about my career path, social anxiety, I used all that anxiety to make me fucking go harder, to fuel me through my workouts. If you guys see my, my transformation in the last year, I'm looking back at it and I'm fucking surprised myself. I look like a whole different fucking person a year ago today. And no, it's not just the beard. It's the fucking physique too. All I had to do was just stop making complaints basically. For the longest time, I was just making complaints and blaming shit on external factors. I was blaming my lower back pain on my genetics. People were telling me, and you know, people around me were even bringing me down too. People were telling me, oh, well you do all this mobility and you're still fucked up. This must be a genetic thing. So then I started to write it off as a genetic thing. Now I got this defeatist attitude. I stopped blaming everything. I stopped blaming other people. I stopped blaming my circumstances. And I said, I'm gonna figure it the fuck out. And I started using the anxiety that I had in all aspects of my life to help me put that energy towards the gym, to make a crazy transformation, to help put it, that, that anxiety, put it as energy towards my business, to put it as energy towards these videos. You see what the fuck I'm doing? I'm screaming at these videos sometimes because I'm passionate about this shit. And a lot of that is, is anxiety, you know, pent up anxiety from shit going on in my life. I use this channel as a fucking outlet and output for my anxiety. So that anxiety, I use that and I put that to put more passion into these videos, put more emotion into it show other people what's really going on in my life and people can relate to that. If I didn't have that anxiety, I don't think I would have quit my job. I don't think I would have, you know, been doing what I'm doing today or been here today. But for the longest time, I took those things, the injuries, the anxiety and I just let it crush me down. So my point is, if you got shit that's holding you back right now, you're going through some shit, you need to figure out a way to use it as fucking motivation. If you're going through some hard times, you know, fuck it, take it out in the gym. You're going through some hard times emotionally, take it out in the gym. That's extra energy. You know, I think emotional control is good, being able to control your emotions. But sometimes you gotta have an outlet to be able to control your emotions because it's not like you're just gonna, you know, prevent yourself from being sad, prevent yourself from being angry. Sometimes you gotta go through those emotions and experience them in full and use it to do something better. So just figure out a way to make whatever weakness you have right now, you can turn it into a strength. I promise you that. You know, you're fat and out of shape. Use that as motivation to fucking get in the best shape of your fucking life. People are calling you fat. Use that as fucking motivation to get your ass in the gym and show all their asses what the fuck is up. 
okay? I use that as motivation when I started my fitness journey, when people were calling me skinny, you know, people not respecting me. I use that as motivation to push harder in the gym. So you need to do the same fucking thing. Use that hate as motivation. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. People say you can't sustain using that hate as motivation. Who the fuck cares? You know, you can use it for now. Use that fucking negative energy as, as motivation. Use it to put, make you push harder. Make the, use the anxiety to make you push harder. Use your depression to allow you to push harder so that one day you can look back and say, hey, I pushed through my depression. And then you can use that to help motivate other people and put good energy in the world. That's all I got to say for this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to.